Hi, welcome back to my art vlogs. Or if you're new around here, welcome. These are my art vlogs, which I vlog weekly based on the sketches that I've carried out. This week I've carried many of the fine liner architecture works that I did in the previous vlog. And along with that, I've also learned how to do trees and that type of thing. Um, learning about texture and shade and then creating some of those trees. I've also drawn a few portrait sketches in my sketchbook and a really great successful um, example came from what I've been learning with the Architecture Fineliner across to the portraits which I'll get into as we go through the vlog. So let's start with what I learned from trees. And the first part about the trees was actually drawing the outline shape of the tree itself. This only took a few minutes in terms of exercise, but it did just show you that the different types of trees have many different types of outlines. And once you actually look and study the tree itself for a moment or two, it really isn't too difficult to get an idea of what the general shape of that tree is and how to get the outline from that tree. So the next part is to break down those shapes into the smaller shapes that build up to create the tree itself. You can see that by the darker elements to the tree which break up each individual shape. It's a good idea at this point to just look at the tree itself for some time and make sure that you can see each individual part of that tree whilst you're looking to draw that broken up shape within the tree. So the next part of this is learning the light source and the light source is interesting with fine liner pens because each different undulating shape that I'm drawing here I can utilize thin and slightly closer together lines to depict the depth and darkness of each of these shapes and you can see the light source there in the top left hand side so we start with a lighter color but as the shapes become undulating certain parts of those shapes are mildly darker than other areas and so we start light and then we move into a more densely populated darker part of the shade on each object taking what we've learned from the light source and putting the shading into that we're now going to do texture and whilst doing the texture we don't try to put the details of a leaf into this it's far smaller than that so what we really need to do is look for gestural detail or shapes illusion of detail and by doing that we're also placing in the elements of the light source within this texture so after spending a little bit of time doing some cylindrical work and putting shading and texture on for a tree trunk I then continued on and I drew two different types of trees very different in fact one that was a little bit oak like one that was definitely a willow tree um, and in doing so I made sure that I incorporated as much of the negative um, color or black color within the tree as I could see whilst looking at the texture at the same time and the flow and direction of the leaves when I'm drawing for instance the willow tree. It's worth noting that you can see branches throughout the tree as well and trying to keep those in some way gestured whilst you're actually doing the drawing helps as well and ensuring that you're placing the shading in there also allows a more 3D look to the tree itself. So whilst we flip through the sketchbook and look at the architecture drawings that I've done and just the three portraits in the sketchbook that I've done, I wanted to mention that whilst drawing the architecture 
I've found that that's helped me in terms of sketching portraits. Not to use a Loomis method or a grid method, we're talking about basic sketching and so the way that that's helped is because we're looking at drawing a building and we go from the inward part of the building outwards, starting with say the door, and that allows us to create the same sizable objects outwards and therefore the, old, uh, the, the whole of the shape of the building is correct or more correct to the aspect ratio of the drawing that you're looking at or the photograph that you're looking at. Doing the same um, with sketch portraits within my sketchbook and the fact that I've become a little bit more um, well I, I concentrate a little bit more at what I'm trying to draw and showing the distances from say one one eye to the other eye it, it's allowed me to draw sketch portraits in the same way as I'm drawing these architectures and therefore it's a very easy way to draw these sketches out without having to consider or think about erasing anything Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this week's video. That's all for now, and I'll see you on next week's video, of course.